Hey guys, it's Kate from The Artery and today we're going to do some self-portraits using our reflection in a spoon. So you'll want to find a good spoon for this, something that's shiny enough that you can really see your reflection. Um, you can kind of look at yourself in the reflection front and back, see which one you like better, and you'll find some pretty funny angles. Before we start drawing our reflection, we're going to start out with a nice big spoon shape. We want it to fill up a good portion of our page. We don't want to make a really tiny spoon. So start out with the big round part of the spoon and try to get those nice curves symmetrical on either side. I did want to include a little bit of the stem of the spoon as well because you can get some cool reflections in there. You can decide how much of the round part and how much of the stem you want to show. I did about half and half on my paper, but it's totally up to you. Getting those nice smooth curves and getting them to be symmetrical is pretty difficult. You can see I drew and erased several times, so don't be discouraged if it takes a little bit of time to get that perfect spoon shape. Next, you'll want to hold your spoon in your non-dominant hand and find a good position where you can see your reflection, um, find a good angle that you like. Maybe your face looks funny, it's like squished in some ways. It kind of reminds me of a funhouse mirror, um, the way that it distorts your features. You also notice that the background behind you is also distorted. There's no straight lines. so. Keep that in mind when you're drawing everything in your background. This is a really great drawing exercise because we tend to want to draw things the way we think they should look. And in this warped reflection, everything is so different from how we're used to seeing it that we really have to focus on the proportions and the angles and those odd curves and bulges. I decided to do my reflection in the spoon with the curve facing towards me. And you'll notice when you do that, it turns your reflection upside down, which is also a great drawing exercise too, because you can't really tell what your drawing is going to look like um, until you flip it around. Um, and with the added distortion of the spoon, it really creates some pretty hilarious effects when you end up turning your drawing around because you can see how like wacky all of the proportions turn out to be. I'm going in and adding some shading as well. It's up to you how far you want to take your drawing, um, but really notice all of the different shades and values that you see in your spoon and it'll add a lot of depth and realism when you get those nice gradients and shading. I find the background elements are also super important for this to really make it look like a shiny reflective spoon. So I am taking time to put in all of those things in the background. You can see there's like a TV on the wall and a shelf and you can kind of see the coffee table that's behind me. There's a doorway, so just keep all of those little things in mind and try to figure out what it is that you're seeing in that spoon reflection. Something funny I also noticed is that my reflection was also in the stem of the spoon and it was really, really long and kind of stretched out, so I definitely wanted to include that in my drawing. I think this is a project you can do multiple times with different angles and maybe do one of the front and one of the back of the spoon. Um, it's just really funny to see how these turn out. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.